This is Andy Nathan with AndyNathan.net. Today is Friday. Friday is your Social Networking Minute, and this is the one-year anniversary of the Social Networking Minute. So awesome. Happy anniversary, Social Networking Minute. We started it the first week of January last year. I want to talk to you real quick about how to actually use a new tool that I've been using called Google Plus Shared Circles. Now, a lot of people know I've been very high on how to use Google Plus, and this has really been a great way for me to connect with people in my target market. We're going to click here, Go, and you'll see here on my profile page that I've connected with about 4,000 people, about 2,400 people have connected back with me. About 2,000 of those were through shared circles. And the reason why it's so cool is because I could add like 500 people at a time and all of them are in my target market. You could even sift if I don't want to connect with someone or I don't think they're the right fit just from their profile. And I'm going to show you how real quickly here. First of all, when you go to Google, do a search Google Plus Shared Circles List. There's a list here in Google Docs that has about 1,500 different lists. So I'm just going to take one out of random here because I'm not going to connect with these people. Let's say Foodies and Chef. I go click on the list and when I do that it opens up a new page and Jake Croston had actually created a list with 392 people and I could go view shared circle and I'm going to miss the one minute mark of course but when I open this up when I open this up you'll see that there's a list of like 300, 392 people here so now let's say I don't want to connect with I don't know JP Noise because I don't like the name I'm just Nothing against JP. I'm sure he's a great guy. I've never met him. No clue who he is. I could just delete him like that real quick. I could look through the list. I could scroll through it. Or, or somebody I'm already connected with and I don't want to add him to another circle. And then all I do is I hit chefs and I go create chef circle and it actually creates a new circle for me. Now I don't want to do this right now because I don't want to connect with chefs. But if you're looking to connect with chefs, that's a great way to do it. And it's easy, it's quick, and you, you can connect with almost 400 of them at one time. Now, next week I'm going to show you how to actually uncircle those people who don't connect back with you. Because you will have some people who will not connect back with you, and you don't want to spend all your time figuring out who they are. For today, however, you now know how to actually go through Google Shared Circles. Hope you enjoyed this. This is Andy Nathan with AndyNathan.net.